Good morning from Namche. It is day 11 of our trek to Everest Base Camp. Today is our final trekking day. We have 11 miles to Lukla, which should take us about six hours, where we will spend the night, and then tomorrow morning, we fly back to Kathmandu and officially end our trip. Out of all the villages we've visited so far, I think Namche is my favorite. I just love how the city is built into the side of the mountain. I love all the cool shops. And it's amazing how this city functions so high up, two full trekking days away from Lukla. And they just have everything you need. Before we go, I'm gonna try and find one souvenir to take home. Found some traditional prayer flags to take home to Chloe and Lennon. And they're only two dollars. Bye, Namche. About to get speared by one of these yaks. <laughs> having flashbacks to when we did this trail up to Namche on day two and remembering how much of a beast it was. We've been trekking uphill for the last two hours or so. We're just getting to the tail end of it. Almost to Namche. Nothing but uphill for three hours straight. Now coming down it almost feels like an accomplishment. Like we have done something hard for the last 11 days. We finished it, and now we get to enjoy the nice, easy downhill reward to the end. This trip has helped me set all sorts of personal records. Most number of days trekked in a row. I got to the highest elevation I've ever been in my life, 18,500 feet. And yesterday, we hiked 20 miles which is the most miles I've ever hiked in a day. So this trip has been amazing. I've loved it so much. We are back in Pakting, which means we're halfway to Lukla. This is the tea house we stayed in our very first night before we knew what we were getting ourselves into. Best fried rice. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Wow, it looks great. It's really good. Namaste. Namaste. One last fried rice and momos. This guy's on double duty, carrying bags and leading the yaks. Okay, we are stepping through the gate that starts and ends the trek, which means we did Woo! it! Bring it in! <laughs> Woo! 11 yes. days. Finally finished our trek. I'm saying the, uh, we crossed the uh, Pasanglam gate. We're reaching that village called the Penjing Hillary village. Yeah. Yes, thank you for Namaste. being uh, such a great team. Yeah. I so happy, I glad. Namaste. Thank you for being a great yeah. guy. Thank you, yeah. Yeah. 11 days yeah. and 100 miles. Yeah. We did it. We did it. Oh. Namaste. Namaste. Woo. Namaste. It feels so good to be back in this yeah. town. Woo, it's hard to describe the emotion, but we did it. It feels amazing. Yeah. For the last time, taking the boots off. Oh, that feels good. having a lot of mixed feelings this morning. On one hand, I'm really glad to be done with the trek. We accomplished something so amazing and I'm so proud of ourselves for doing it. On the other hand, I'm gonna miss waking up and hiking to a new village every day 
meeting new people, seeing new mountains. And so this is kind of a weird morning. We're on the second flight today, but since the weather was bad yesterday, no flights took off yesterday. So all the people that were supposed to leave yesterday are still in Lukla. And so there's a chance we get bumped to later. We're supposed to leave around eight o'clock, but you never know at this flight. It gets delayed quite a bit. Namaste. Thank you so much. So we're not in Kathmandu. The word we got in the air was that there was a traffic jam at the Kathmandu airport. There were too many planes landing and no more could land today. So we have landed in a village five hours outside of Kathmandu. Today has taken an interesting turn. We have to try and find a car that will drive us the five hours to our hotel. I don't think this airport gets used very often. <laughs> We're the only ones here. <laughs> There's baby goats over here. <laughs> oh, what is our life? There was one airport worker working when we pulled up in our plane and he asked what was going on. Told him we couldn't land in Kathmandu. He's like, oh, well, you're the only flight coming in today. <laughs> airport goats. <laughs> this is definitely the most unique airport I've ever been to. I guess there's a 13 passenger van on the way to take us all to Kathmandu. Even though this was a little frustrating in the moment, it's kind of cool to see this side of Nepal. Like this is a very local experience. We're just in a random village in the mountains. The true Nepalese experience. All right, our ride's here, but there's one catch. Here's how you have to get into the van. <laughs> You're about to get stabbed by barbed wire. <laughs> how close am I right? <laughs> the door is stuck on the barbed wire. That's amazing. <laughs> some chickpeas and roti. This was less than one dollar for this meal right here. Incredible. That was so good. This might be the best one dollar meal I've ever had. <laughs> that vegetable curry is amazing. We left the airport at 11. It is now 4.05, so almost exactly five hours later. We've made it to the hotel. Oh, I'm so exhausted. Namaste. Namaste. I need to give you a, a hug real quick. So this is goodbye. Bye. I wanted to say anyone coming yeah, to Everest yeah. Base Camp, any, book with the link trek. below, any yeah. trek. Yeah. Book d -Lock. you'll have the best experience of your life. He is such a positive energy. We had so much fun with him. He made the trip way more enjoyable for us. So he's probably gonna be booked out now. 
pretty far in advance, so get them early. But we can't say enough good things about him. This trip was amazing, and thank you so much. Uh, welcome, and then uh, next time again, uh, I uh, I want to meet with you. Yeah. I miss you uh, every time. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Namaste.